when a person attains realization, it's like the moon's reflection in water. The moon never becomes wet, the water is never disturbed. When the Dharma has not yet fully penetrated body and mind, one thinks one is already filled with it. When the Dharma fills body and mind, one thinks something is still lacking. When a fish swims, no matter how far it swims, it doesn't reach the end of the water. When a bird flies, no matter how high it flies, it cannot reach the end of the sky. If there are fish that would swim or birds that would fly only after investigating the entire ocean or sky, they would find neither path nor place. When we make this very place our own, our practice becomes the actualization of reality, Genjo Koan. That is what Dogen Zen said in Genjo Koan. Like a, a fish in the ocean or a bird in the sky. And what Dogen said is if a fish or a bird want to know what the meaning of the entire ocean or entire sky before actually swimming or flying, there's no way we can live. We can, no way we can start something. But when I was a high school student, I was really like that uh, bird or fish. I want to know the meaning of life before I make any decision. And I couldn't find any meaning in this life. So I, was, I became a kind of a nihilistic. And when I did Genjo Koan, I found I need to f start to do something. I need to find a place. And to me, the place was the cushion on which I'm sitting. And when we, I found the place for me, then I found the path, the direction I have to walk. Before starting anything, there's no way we can find a meaning. There's no such a fixed meaning that was offered before we are born. That teaching by Dogen in Genjo Kōan was really helpful and important. So when I start to uh, practice Zazen, I can understand the meaning of this practice. I need to st study Buddhism. Then, uh, you know, there's a direction I need to walk. And after I understand, I thought and I understood the importance of this practice, then how I have to find the way, how can I share this teaching and practice with others. And that is my path I need to walk with a certain direction. So to find the place, and then we can see the path. Uh, then which direction we need to go, I think is important. Otherwise our life becomes really meaningless. You know, I just want to satisfy my like and dislike or such uh, desires without any direction. When we give all our attention and energy to the task or practice before us, we can truly penetrate it. We work on the practice, study it, experiment with it, and care for it. We do this over and over again with whatever we encounter. One thing at a time, each time. This is how we study the characteristics of all things, one thing at a time. When we practice whatever role we are in sincerity, 
we penetrate that role. When we make a mistake, we penetrate that mistake and learn from it. Then our mistakes become great teachers for us. Nothing is meaningless when we have our own place and path. In reality, our place and path are not something outside us. Our place and path are nothing other than ourselves.